Welcome back to the morning blend. We all like to indulge a little around the holidays, but it's also possible to make tasty snacks and have them be healthy too. Joining us live from her kitchen in California is health coach, blogger and cookbook author Erica Schlick. We have featured her book many times here on the show, The Wandering Palette, many times, as I mentioned here, and is filled with travel inspired, healthy paleo meals. Hi, Erica. Good morning, how are you? I'm great, I heard you're making an appetizer today, true? I am, this is gonna be a healthy and delicious appetizer. So, you know, the holidays are full of carbs, sugars, things like that. I've got something that's gonna taste delicious and be healthy for you and cut out all those carbs. I love it, it's a tapenade, right? It is a tapenade, and instead of crackers, we're gonna be using cucumbers as our cracker. Oh, makes it healthy. Okay, show us how it's done. All right, so we're gonna let the food processor do most of the work. So I've got my Kalamata olives that I'm gonna put in here. I've got my Castellavano olives that I've got as well. And I like to do a combination of the two because it gives it a really good flavor. I've got my capers and I've got my fresh parsley. And I always like to use fresh herbs, as you know, from some of my other segments. It just gives such a great flavor to things. I've got some lemon zest and fresh lemon juice. And I've got some garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of sea salt. Now a tip, you don't wanna overdo the sea salt because the olives are so salty and briny already. It can kind of overpower it a little bit. Good so point. that's it. We're gonna go ahead and give this a few pulses. And once that chops down a bit, now we're gonna add in some extra virgin olive oil. And this is really gonna help it kind of emulsify and tie together. So we'll give it a few more pulses here. And then that's it. So we've got our tapenade made. So now let's talk about our crackers. So I've got my cucumber here and I just cut off the ends of it. And you wanna to try to get the slices to be pretty even. Um, but before I slice it, what I do is I do kind of like an alternating peel on it. I don't take off the peel entirely because then, you know, the peel helps to give it a little bit of structure, especially when the tapenade is sitting on it. So that's it. I've got some that's already sliced here. You wanna do it about a quarter of an inch thick. And that's it. We're gonna go ahead and spoon our tapenade on it. Yum. And just goes on so easy. And that's it. You just put, use a spoon, put them on there. Now you can decorate them with a little bit of uh, another caper. You can do a little parsley leaf on them. Super simple. These come together. They're a great snack, great for a holiday party. Even works in January when you wanna have a healthy snack and start eating really clean and healthy. See, I love how quick and easy it is to make something fresh and delicious like that. That's incredible. Yes. Um, can you use the tapenade sort of like a dip too, rather than a spread like that? Absolutely, yeah, you can do this as like a veggie dip. It also works great on like a grilled fish too. I like to put it on fish sometimes. Um, so very, very versatile dip. Use it on your meals, use it as a snack, use it as an appetizer, it's great. So cool. Okay, real quickly, cause we're running out of time. I know that you suffered from Lyme disease as well as some autoimmune mm -hmm. conditions. I know you've changed the way you eat. How are you feeling now? I feel great. I've been in remission for about five years. I still eat super clean and healthy. And I swear that's one of the things that has helped me stay healthy is just eating really clean, cutting out the inflammatory foods, especially gluten and grains um, and sugars and things like that and eating clean, delicious, healthy, whole foods. Good for you, Erica. It was great talking to you this morning. Thank you for all the great content you supply for our show here on The Morning Blend. We appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. And happy holidays again. Erica's book is The Wandering Palette. You can find it on her website, thetrailtohealth.com.